the use of sounds has always been a, a part of strategy uh, in, in communication. And, of course, uh, we talked about how that the Apostle Paul uses the reference of the trumpet in battle and how that they would use the trumpet sounds to be able to, to, to communicate to this army, you need to be over here, this army needs to be over here. And it all has to do with, with winning the victory in the battle. Well, communication is very much a part of the strategy of, of, a, of a Christian or anybody else to be successful, to be able to overcome things that need to be overcome, and to be able to prevail in, in whatever endeavor in life you may be. And so uh, if a person is desirous to live a life that is free, as we, as I said earlier this week in the broadcast, is that that's very important to us Americans. And I'm sure it is to other nations as well. You want to be able to, to live in freedom. You want to be able to just live your life, raise your family. And then I think that that's what's on the heart of most people. But oftentimes, people begin to get confused about these things because they're hearing words coming forth from people who are in authority that often do not uh, manifest that which has a clear and distinctive understanding to them. And a lot of times, it, this is by design, just mumble jumble. And you, you'll hear some uh, uh, debate, the political debate going on. And somebody has asked a question, and they got two minutes to complete their answer. And next thing they're, they're talking about, well, there's birds in the trees. And sometimes the birds are red. Sometimes the birds are blue. Sometimes the birds are black. Sometimes uh, they're, they're big. Sometimes they're little. Sometimes they twerp. Sometimes they don't. And then when you get down to the end of the two minutes, you go, what does that have to do with the question? And then you are, you're, you're you're watching the television, or maybe you listen to the radio, and you just you just kind of you know knocking your head, and you're going, "What did that mean? And why did the person not answer the question?" Well, I'm tell you why they don't want to answer the question because they don't want you to know what they really feel and what they really think and what they plan to do if you elect that person. Well, you see. That's a direct threat to freedom because the people don't hear the clear, distinctive sounds like the Apostle Paul is talking about that the trumpet sound comes forth, but it leaves the people on the battlefield confused and they don't know which way to shift, whether they should shift to the left or to the right or go forward or go backward. The next thing you know, you've got people stumbling over one another and much Harm and much damage is done because of the unclearness and the lack of distinction in the words and the sounds that come forth. And so I just believe this. People just need to just say what's on your heart. Let the people to judge. Let the people decide when they have clear, concise information to be able to make their determinations as to how it would affect them and how it would affect their family, how it would affect their country, or whatever it is that you're involved in on the part that really matters. And that's what's going to be, as we say, down the road. This is Pastor Jack King with the Gospel on the radio broadcast.